been a long time since we did one of these. PC, bronze one, support. 29 fucking minutes. Been bronze for quite some time now. Can't seem to rank up to silver and support at all. Game went on for quite some time with six rounds. I lose most games I should win due to my teammates giving up or just selling in team fights. Not the selling, dude. I have a feeling this would also be bronze if they played more games. Just a small feeling. These are always my favorite, because then I can be like a little bit more like harsh. It's always my teammates, right? Surely you're playing at an optimal level. Okay. Interesting. Where are you going? <laughs> Ain't no way. What? Dude, uh, did your controller disconnect? Did your brain disconnect? And I was like, well, I was gonna give you a tip that you probably shouldn't go over here. You could play the corner over here and just like heal your team as you walk through if you really need to. You could really TP to a teammate if you need to, but there's no way you should die, right? Like you can, you can get by, it's no problem. And then, and then what in the f am I supposed to do with this? You look at the ground, you Suzu, and then your brain f***ing disconnects and you stand still and die. Hello? I could probably end this right now and just cut it short and go, yeah, I promise you it's not your teammates. That is the worst Kiri gameplay I've ever witnessed in my entire existence, and it's not even close, and I've watched a lot of shits over the years. But we have 29 minutes of this potential type of content, so no way am I giving that up. Okay, wasted Suzu on absolutely nothing. You, the guy was getting hit by a Winston Tesla, and, and you can't out here a Winston Tesla on Kiri? Okay, TP into the enemy team, get stuck on a fucking wall, climb up the wall. Hello? Okay, so clearly you TP into a shit spot, right? What's Boom, that? you're like, oh, this isn't where I meant to be. If they had the mechanical skill of somewhat greater than a fucking almond, uh, you probably die here, right? But uh, luckily though, it's a Mercy who's trying to Glock you from behind the cart, which by the way, what in the fuck is this one doing? Uh, but luckily then it's just an Ana because the other two are looking at nothing. So your decision-making process, instead of going, oh shit. I'm safe again, is to look at them, freak out, try to heal them. No. Miss every fucking paper on the heel, then climb up the wall, break the wall climb, look down, somehow hit the top of the lamp thing just so you fall a little bit slower, and then walk back in. And then walk behind the wall and go, safe. And then come back, TP back in again immediately, Suzu. Right. Bravo, bravo. Oh, wait, my the rest of my team is dying right now? Yeah, that's not my problem. I, 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 it's like you gave yourself a pat on the back before the fight even finished, and you haven't thrown like a single kunai. Why are you? Why even play? You get bored? My guy's got like what? Give or take, probably about 580, 600 HP, and the entire enemy team is dead. Yeah, you know what you need? A Suzu. Now I'm gonna stand still. Luckily, you're playing in bronze. Put the phone down. I promise you didn't get any Tinder matches. All right, so we're gonna stand here. Slap Malga in front of an Ana. Hmm, maybe I should stand here and wait to see if they nade my Malga so that I can instantly Suzu him and cleanse both the abilities. Nah, I'm gonna TP to my Sojourn and instantly Suzu the ground. Maybe throw a Kunai or two, might be nice time. Now's a perfect time, everybody's full HP. Nobody's in danger. Yeah, just heal the Winston, dude. Uh, you know what? I, you know what? I wish this happened in my games. I wish the enemy team tried to heal me more, because you know what? I need healing, man. I respect it. Thank you for healing that poor Winston. And, uh, I, dude, listen, I wouldn't be going so hard on you if you hadn't said, and I quote, Game went on for quite some rounds. I lose most of my games. I should win due to my teammates giving up or just selling in team fights. Brother, if you were on my team, I'd give up too. Okay, so now you have a Kitsune Rush. And they're playing really aggressive. Their Winston just jumped in. That's a perfect opportunity to pop Rush and let your Malga absolutely fucking melt his ass. But no, instead, you decided to start throwing the first Kunai you've thrown in the entire game and try to start healing the Malga through the wall. First off, you need a tip because I just realized you don't have it on. Turn off toggle healing of a Fuda. That way you can throw one or two or four or six or eight papers. You don't get stuck in the entire animation. Okay, sound good. Dude. Do you not realize what you look like here? Hold on. Is this not the juiciest fucking kill you've ever seen? La da 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 da, la da 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 da. What's going on out there? And then you, wait, how did you? Wait a minute, you had your buttons when I left you. 
Hello? Any Suzuers? Uh, and uh, reaction time a little bit faster, maybe? Suzu the ground? I mean, you probably still would have died, so I'm not gonna be too harsh on you, but Jesus Christ. Wake up! You can TP back. There you go. This guy watched one car cue video and showed and fucking what he TP'd through and Suzu the ground, and then just that's all he does now. Yep, you keep healing the enemy team. I'm sure they could really appreciate that. God, you need that setting turned on, though, because you're just... It's that might go down as quite possibly one of the worst Kitsune rushes I've ever seen in my entire gaming history. What in the fuck did I just witness? Did you just Kitsune rush into the cart the opposite direction? What? I thought that this the carriage was going to block it, so you probably got a little bit lucky there. Oh, I, I thought it was going to be a Suzu, dude. I'm not going to lie. I, don't you dare. Almost. I was I was this close to giving you a compliment. Hey, wouldn't that have been a nice time to have a Suzu right there? You know, that would have been a pretty textbook time to have a Suzu right there. That would have been nice, wouldn't it have been? Okay. Well, ambitious. Ambitious, but probably winnable. Okay. Hey. Okay. Hey, that wasn't too bad at the end. That, that you know, I just... The problem is, though, is you probably remember all of those moments, and you're like, oh my god, I'm popping the fuck off, and you don't remember the 19 times you were spinning around in a circle in the middle of the open. So, it's... Just, just fucking turn and heal him one time. You, didn't, you don't gotta Suzu him every time the fucking wind blows. Wow, look at that time. He was one HP. That guy was, that guy was one fucking HP and you were gonna go to Suzu him at one HP. And it was kind of a good idea because holy shit, he almost died. Wow, this would have been a great time to have a Suzu and you even recognized it. Like a gentle rain. But you don't have it because you press the button every time it comes up, you get bored. Okay, so this is pretty good, fighting the fighting the Doom, yep. Honestly, I would've just kept fighting the Doom. You're, you're more, I got it. It is in fucking peckable that you are managing to miss an auto-aim healing ability. Like, this is a generational performance. Okay. So again, let's see what we got here. We got another fucking with Suzu because you you started missing the healing. You're panicking because someone's shooting at you and you're not used to it. You go to heal the fucking ground and then throw a Suzu. Did it even hit your your Malga? Oh look at that! Look who didn't get Suzu. And then you look back, you throw a couple kunai's to Kiri, and that's the thing you remember. You remember you killed the Kiri. You got your one, and then your Malga fucking dies. And then you're gonna shoot this Moira a couple times, and I bet you're gonna be in spawn going, Team, I got my one! What are you guys doing? What the fuck? You guys are selling! You took 50 damage, and a mini is right goddamn there. But you know what? You have a couple options here. Option one, fight back against the Doom, try to hit some shots. Option two, go for the mini, and then start hitting some shots. Option three, try to start healing the Malga and see if he can protect you. Option four, try to run for the hills. Your option, throw one kunai, immediately Suzu the ground, even though you picked up the mini. You managed to combine all the options into the worst one. You Suzu the ground and grab the mini at the exact same time. And now what? You hide on a box and then run for the hills. But wait, you decide to turn back. Sorry about that. And what if somebody had maybe a Suzu? Okay, so your team's playing aggressive here. Surely you're going to save your... <sighs> this has actually got to be like an award for some of the worst Suzus I've ever seen. Does your brain just like turn off for small bursts? Like, is there like a subscription plan you forgot to pay? That's it's because all of their teammates suck. So, uh... Jesus Christ, dude! There's no fucking way. Like, how, how are you this fucking bad, dude? Here he comes. Dash, turn around, slash, slash again. Dude, you have all year. Throw the fucking Suzu, dude. And you've had Kitsune Rush for like three or four minutes. Dude, you Suzu at like the first like sneeze of spring and the one time you need it, you don't pop it. Hell, at least try to TP away and save yourself if you're gonna be selfish with it. 
Okay, maybe we pop that Kitsune Rush, yeah? Come on, Kitsune Rush! Let the Kitsune guide you! I knew they were gonna do it again. I knew they were gonna fuck up this ult. And then the best part is, like, they get stunned and they're like, oh, 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 oh. My teammates AFKing and selling? Isn't this the exact definition of AFKing and selling? Like, I wish I still had the mirror in my room here. Yep, don't try to TP away or anything. I understand that's not like the worst of your plays, but Jesus Christ. I lose games because my teammates go AFK and are selling. POV. Hello? Hey, do you not know how to use a door? Where the fuck are you going? You might quite possibly be one of the worst players I've ever seen. How you have the audacity to be mad about your teammates about anything is hilarious. Okay. Wow, another fucking genius sequence here. Walks out of spawn, TPs to their D.Va. Immediately, fucking no clue what's happening at all, okay? I get you get overwhelmed very easily. Goes to heal, guy dies instantly, not your fault. And then you throw the Suzu at the enemy team. This is like what's left of your brain cells rattling around. Sorry, hang on, that's too many. Okay, so now, you know, you're 90 HP, a little bit, a little, look a little bit spooky here. Probably not standing still in the corner. Yep, immediately Suzu yourself again. Cool. Meanwhile, you had Lamp. This is how you do a good Ketsune rush. Let's watch the good Ketsune rush. Now watch this other bronze player who knows to Kitsune rush at the enemy. Okay. Okay, good. Glad I could teach you that lesson. All right, let's go. Wouldn't it be nice to have a Suzu right now? Oh, some Lucio. Florcio. Pedestrian Lucio at your service. Oh, yeah. Let me jump right in front of the fucking Doom and Coalescence. That's a good idea. Okay, so this time you've decided to sit on high ground AFK. Can you not stand still? Bro, you, hey, hey, fucking bot, wake up, bro. Did someone forget to pay your subscriptions? Or nah, ain't no fucking way. Ain't no fucking way. I lose most games I should win due to my teammates giving up or just selling in team fights. And you just stood fucking still on the high ground, didn't fucking move. And you had the reaction time of a snail. Actually, sorry, that's an, that's an offense to snails everywhere, dude. Watch what this guy sees who just kills you. A, an actual plankton would have gotten that elimination. And then the mercy comes in and reses you. Oh. Oh. Now what? Now what are you gonna do? Oh, I'm glad you took time to walk around in circles and you have the social scroll. The scroll so it was a social wheel open when you're looking for the thank you thing. So instead of playing the game here, it was more important to walk in a circle and try to see if you can find the thank you button. Okay. All right. Now what? All right. Three or four seconds later, you got back in the fight and look at that. Your Ramatra died. I'm glad you at least thanked the mercy for the res. Oh, I'm glad we're Kitsune rushing with our team. Surely the most powerful ultimate on your team is not gonna go to waste here, right? I wanna know the logic behind this one. Bro, is your brain inverted? Uh, yeah, surely let me just teleport back in under half HP in front of everybody using their ultimates and be right in the middle of the fucking open. Surely that'll be a good idea. Surely nothing can go wrong. Oh, wait. They instantly went wrong. And your Katsune Rush was useless because you were playing only 3v5 and immediately blew your abilities at the start of the fight. Oh, so you go Alari. Oh, surely Alari is going to be the right pick here. $10 from Clone Trooper Wee. Have you ever heard the tragedy of Darth Vader's the wise? It's go time. 
massive healing pylon right in the middle of the fucking floor. What do you think is the thought process right here? Hold on. Wait for it. Right here. What do you think the thought process is? There's Sojourn across the map. Gonna fucking shoot him? Gonna go heal him? With his fucking tiny beam? What is this? No. Ain't no way they're about to go behind them and try to... No. They're dead. It, three seconds, max. Okay, the Doom didn't notice. I thought the Doom was gonna come over too. Five seconds, max. My bad. It took a little bit longer. Um, that quite possibly could go down as one of the worst flanks I've ever seen. You are literally the biggest troll on your team. I would fucking hate you. If you were on my team, I'd actually unironically probably report you. Ah, yes, let me throw my healing pile on at the enemy fucking team. Surely they need it. Let's stand in the middle of the fucking open with no pylon. Dude, I'm like watching a robot play Overwatch for the first time. What is this? Like, your brain just malfunctions. So they run out of beam, and then they go to heal the brig, and they track the brig the entire time. They're like, oh my god. Wait for it. Hang on. I must heal the brig. Must heal the brig. Must heal the brig. No juice. I have juice now? You know what? Fuck the juice. I'm gonna throw my pylon. Oh, he died. Ah, shit. Now what? Now what? Now what? Now what? Brain, brain malfunction. Teammates dying. Teammates dying. Brain malfunction. Brain malfunction. Teammates are dying. Brain. Oh, here we are. We're doing things again. You are the seller. Fuck, and you're distributing losses to all your teammates. If you're going to play Alari, one of those those characters where you like the whole point of her kit is about like doing damage and getting kills, you probably should have the mechanical skill somewhere greater than a wooden plank. They buffed the bullet size this season. Like, the size of bullets are like throwing small trains at stuff, and you still manage to miss every one. At least a plank can hurt someone. Yeah, that's fair. I should have said, like, a raisin. Honestly, a raisin might do more damage. They could choke on the raisin. Are you just gonna pretend that the Genji's gone? Like, I love this. This is like... This is like me running away from my problems IRL. Looks him dead in the eyes and goes, yeah, I don't, nah, not my problem. Jumps away and he goes, yeah, that's the Genji. Now we're in a 1v1 situation. Nah, I'm just gonna look at the bucket back of this car. Nope, 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 not my problem. Nope, nope, not my problem. Okay, yeah, let's not go get the Mega though. Bad idea. What are you looking at your teammate? Dude, luckily that guy had the fucking intelligence of a celery stick because Jesus Christ, it was like a fucking moth going after a lamp, dude. Wow, you, hey, you got your first kill though. You know, you heard him punch over your head. You have, you just like stop moving your mouse for a sec and that like, hey, like, hey, that guy ain't on your team right there. And you just look away. You're like, nope, not my problem. That's someone else's issue. Luckily, uh, your brig kind of knows how to play brig and is uh, ruining all of their fun. <laughs> Oh, and there it goes. Listen, dude, we all been there, but that is quite possibly one of the worst <laughs> Alari ults. You, Alar you Alari ulted the one person on their team who has two abilities to cleanse it. Instead of, you know, the guy on the right who's probably but a laser your ass. Never mind, you're a made space. Uh... Are you even, like, you're not even contributing. You're dead. Wow. They just stopped shooting at you. Dude, why can't I get this lucky in my games? My god, you're not even contributing. Okay, big pylon that's on the corner that they can shoot. And there goes the pylon. The tactical visor activated. Judy, you would have thought tracking the soldier there was an impossible task. How the fuck did you manage to do that, but... Alright, luckily they're kind of trickling, and now you get a chance, right? You're gonna cap this. Right? 
Maybe shoot the... Okay, they see nine. All right, you know what? Fair enough, dude. This good. I thought this game couldn't get worse, and it's finding ways to. So now you're like, oh, I found out Ilari works. Yeah, I've been popping off the Ilari. I did so much there, chat. And the enemy team has a lever. You don't lose this game, right? I feel like you're going to find a way. You're going to find a way to lose your team this game. Luckily, that guy's playing fucking Arisa and can just stand there. Oh, nah, you're going to lose that. <laughs> All right, luckily your wrist is just the fucking goat and kills four of them. Fair enough, I guess. Dude, I don't know why you're complaining about your teammates, dude. Your teammates apparently are the freaking goats. All right, you're still up one. They're literally down a player. So there's no way you lose this, right? Shooting the shield. Shot the Rhine once, twice. Not bad. Dude, your wrist is just the fucking go. What is this? Yeah, let me just fucking... You're a nutcase, dude. You, you just fucking shift in in front of a, a shifted bastion? No fear? That is quite possibly one of the most undeserved wins I think I've ever seen submitted. And the fact that you have the audacity to, to submit this and say that you lose most of your games you should win is an actual miracle that you even won this game. I don't know who this guy is, Jay is. You should find that guy. You should find his name and number and address and send him a fucking $500 edible arrangement with a nice card with a gift card to Outback Steakhouse or to Texas Roadhouse and say thank you so much for winning me that game because I'm fucking terrible. Jesus. That is possibly one of the worst ones I've ever seen. That was a good one.